everyone, I'm Tefel and welcome on my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial channel. So today we are going to look into MRPG inventory plugin once again, integrating all online services into your game. So players will have registration, login, progression, profile, uh, friends and uh, contacts. Also online transactions with credit card, buying virtual currency. And above all, you will have this uh, inventory when server and client are communicating. So everything will be synchronized. And uh, what I'm playing now is uh, downloading uh, MRPG inventory plugin uh, from the marketplace and uh, enabling all online services with Exola. If you haven't checked the previous video, which was introduction video, it should be currently somewhere on the screen, uh, which you can check before starting this tutorial. As you can see, I already created a new project, which is the Test MRPG Inventory Exola, which is 4.26 uh, version of Unreal Engine. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just going to Marketplace uh, uh, right here, uh, going to my library in the Epic Games Launcher and uh, scrolling down to the, to the vault and uh, picking my multiplayer RPG inventory system which I search here and adding this to the project and uh, and selecting adding this to the project. So when uh, this is completed, I will see all the content into into my project. As you can see, it's already showing me a proper uh, proper splash image. So yeah, uh, you have this MRPG inventory system directory which you can just go directly there. And you have Exola directory, which has uh, dependencies to Exola plugin. So whenever you open here something, it will show you some warnings that it requires uh, dependency. And uh, when you open the map from examples, main menu map, you will see, and when you start it, you will see that there are two examples. And the second one is disabled because there is no Exola plugin. And uh, to enable this, you just need to go to, to Epic Launcher and uh, finding Exola Store SDK plugin, this one. So when you install this to the engine and enable this, uh, this message will be uh, gone and you will be able to press this button like advanced Exola <coughs> example. But let's look into the basic one. You have this character which you can move on the scene. So it's just server client uh, communication, uh, this basic uh, inventory which you have. And I'm going to go to details uh, about everything here. So let's look into advanced example right now. And as you can see, uh, when you first time open advanced example, you will see that it's using MRPG uh, store configuration, which is set by default. And this is indicated by uh, this um, icon, information icon, and it's telling you that MRPG store is active and you can use demo user for all uh, testing functionalities of the plugin. So I can just press the demo, demo user and uh, all my items in, inside my uh, MRPG store, uh, everything what you see, this mushroom, nuts, uh, all the items, are configured inside my MRPG store. Uh, but don't worry, next time I'm going to show you how you can configure your own uh, Exola store and how you can set up all the items, uh, currency, bundles, uh, character progression and all of that. And currently I would like to focus on everything what is uh, provided by uh, by default by, by this uh, plugin. So um, this configuration is available in the uh, game mode, it's Exola game mode, and uh, by default it's setting uh, reference to my MRPG store, like I said. So it's using just two IDs, one is MRPG login ID and one is MRPG project ID. So it's using uh, numbers plus this long uh, ID for, uh, for the store, and this is uh, actually everything what uh, what is required to set up new store uh, and you can replace this with your own store and you can add your items and everything what you want. 
uh, yeah, and this is a, whenever it starts, uh, it's setting this automatically. So we will have to replace this uh, here. And this is everything what, what you need to do. But no worries, I'm going to explain this in the next video. So let's get back to, uh, to example, advanced example. So as you can see, I can use my uh, demo user. And when I uh, when I'm logged into to this application, I have uh, access to my friends. Uh, I don't have any friends uh, added yet, but I can add them by uh, Facebook, Twitter. I can look them in like a nickname, which are registered in in, in my store. Uh, obviously, I can block them. Then I have pending request, and everything is uh, self-explanatory. Then I have uh, my user account where I can set my uh, avatar. I can change my phone number, first name, uh, birth, gender. So maybe I can select I'm male. <laughs> then you have inventory. So all items which I purchased before. And uh, because I already purchased some of them, you will not be able to purchase them once again with the default account because this is forbidden. Uh, you cannot purchase the same item multiple times as long as it's not uh, consumable or it's not going to expire. Uh, you can buy them again. They are also stacking up, so they will increase expiry time. Uh, yeah, and also when you consume something, it's it's going to decrease number of uh, quantity you have. So uh, it will reach zero and then disappear from your inventory. So you can purchase them multiple times. And like I said in the previous video, uh, you can use uh, currency, the normal one, which is euro, dollars, and there is a support of of plenty of them. You can also purchase them with virtual currency, which is here on the right top corner. Let's get uh, to the game right now. So when you go to the game directly, you have this uh, castle level uh, scene where I have a character, which is uh, wearing some items. I can obviously equip uh, more of them. So everything here on the scene where I walk is replicated. Obviously more uh, people can join my session and uh, they are also replicated. They can put some items on the ground, they can pick them up and uh, putting item on the ground is just simple by dragging this on the ground. You can open the chest. Every chest can be observed by multiple people. Uh, and when they are having this chest open, uh, whenever you place some items, they also see life changes. So items are going to appear for them. Uh, so there is everything uh, yeah, synchronized. We have two types of vendors. Uh, first one is the local one, which is offering us uh, everything uh, to buy just with the gold. So I can just drag and drop and I can purchase this with a gold. Uh, then I can pick more items from the scene. Um, and as you can see, everything is uh, stacking and, and it's here. Uh, I can also have inventory open and everything is uh, updated. So when I pick five gold, it's increasing my gold as well. Then I can uh, select the next chest and it's also appearing here. So it's not closing anything. So everything works as intended. And when I walk away, uh, the system is automatically shutting this chest down. So uh, this is about character replication and multiplayer. And like I said before, there is a local vendor, but also global vendors which are offering items from Exola store. And uh, we have two types of them. One is the pink one and one is the yellow one. Uh, yellow one is offering you virtual currency. So when I uh, get here, I have a virtual currency for just three dollars uh, and I can buy 100 of uh, silver coins and uh, I can do this right now. Let's uh, try this out. So I'm going to put uh, some credit card number. Uh, obviously, this is a testing one. So, um, so when I go back, uh, transactions should be successful and as you can see my number of coins increased and now having this uh, virtual currency I can go to the vendor who is selling for this virtual currency and I can buy some exotic fruits uh, maybe this one uh, and everything is appearing in the global one 
uh, and maybe also this one. So you can uh, purchase uh, items with virtual currency, but you can also use your uh, credit card. And uh, other vendors are selling you items which are going to expire. You have one day of uh, expiry here. Uh, yeah, cost is three, four, five, and one uh, dollar. Here you have some capes. Unfortunately, I cannot buy them uh, multiple times because uh, they are items which are not expiring, which I already said. Uh, so they are marked as purchased and there is nothing I can do with this. Uh, that's why you need uh, your own uh, account. You can create your own uh, when starting this, this game. Then you will be able to purchase every item uh, once, right? Because these are unique items. And uh, yeah, that's everything for this uh, tutorial. So next time I'm going to show you how you can create your own store, uh, having your own items, bundles, virtual currencies, and everything like this. So stay tuned until next time.